let us pray. Worthy, magnificent, marvelous, wondrous. God, you are all that and more. And in this moment, we give thanks that we get to experience the more and more and more of you. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, God, thank you. Thank you for your omnipotence, omniscience, and omnipresence. God, you are in all, through all. You are all powerful. God, thank you that because of your presence in our lives, God, we are made better. We lack no good thing. We can go higher. We can go deeper. We can live stronger, wiser, and longer. God, thank you. Thank you, God, that we can do that from a place of healing, from a place of wholeness, from a place of peace and grace. Father, all these promises that you spoke of in your holy word, God, we are walking these out every day. You have not kept them to yourself, God, but you've given us open access, unlimited to all of these treasures in heaven, God, but we get to experience them right here on earth. Thank you, God, for life and life more abundantly life to the full and overflow, God. And with that same healing, with that same peace, with that same hope, our life is rounded out, God. And we become that beacon light to shine in the lives of others, that others will be drawn to you, to your glory. They may not know what it is, but it's that peculiar nature. It's that fervent, passion, God, that will speak to lost souls, God, that will help us in fulfilling the great commission, God, and we will go forward and we will make disciples of the nations. We will share the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ wherever we go, God, our lives will become your holy scripture. People can read us and say, I want to know the God of this sister, the God of that brother. God is so thank you. Thank you for building us into this holy network, this sacred framework of your grand design to your great purpose. God, so thank you, Lord God, that we will continue to share and share alike, that we know that we are blessed to be a blessing, God, and that we will continue to build a legacy of faith, of health, of wealth, of sharing, of community, Lord God, of abundance and overflow, abundance of goodness and joy, abundance of grace and mercy, God, showing grace to one another, being kind and loving with one another, helping one another where we may fall short instead of judging and condemning one another. God, and in this climate of political unrest, economic downturns, up and downs, God, we will not be shaken. We will not be stirred, but we will stand firm and we will remain. We will remain steadfast, unmovable in your promises. Your promises of life everlasting. God, knowing that something bigger and greater than our current life here on earth. God, but while we're here, we're going to operate in joy. We're going to operate in fullness and we're going to operate from a place of gratitude. So God, as we close out, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for all the things that you are pouring on our lives all of the goodness, all of the greatness, all of your love, God. Let us walk in that love and let that love shine through. 
our lives each and every day. In Jesus' name, we pray and give thanks and we say amen, amen, amen.